Hello everyone, this is Lee here from Click Studios and in this video I'll show you how to set up an account discovery job which will ultimately reduce your workload and help secure and manage your environment. So what do account discoveries do? They are a tool that we have in Password State that will scan all of your hosts out on your network looking for local accounts that are being used. If they find any, it will import them right into Password State and can set them up for a scheduled automatic resets. It's a great way to find accounts out on your network that you didn't even know existed. We have these account discovery jobs for many different types of systems including Windows, Linux, a few databases and a number of different types of switches. In this demo I'll show you how to discover local Windows administrator accounts. Let's start by showing you which machines I'll be running this job against. If we go into hosts I have loaded five Windows 10 machines all with the same naming format. In a normal environment, you could expect to have hundreds or thousands of hosts. You'll see that all of my hosts are currently online, as indicated by this little green heartbeat icon. We'll need to set up a password list that is enabled for resets, which the discovery job will add discovered accounts into. The only real important thing to ensure you have set on this list is the enabled for resets option must be ticked. If you intend on letting passwords stay automatically reset the passwords, you can change the frequency of the password changes by changing this expiry date option here. Basically with these current settings, the password will attempt to change at midnight once every 90 days. You should also confirm that you have the expiry date field enabled and then click save. Next you'll need to add in a privileged account from the administration area and you need to ensure that this account has enough permissions to connect to your host machines. So for this particular discovery job I'm adding in a domain account that has administrator permissions to any Windows desktop in my environment. Because it's an Active Directory account I need to put it in the format of domain slash username and I'll then hit the check password button to confirm that I've set it correctly. You should have been given permissions to use this privileged account automatically and you can check this has been set from the actions menu. Now we're on to creating our discovery job. To do this we'll go into the tools menu and select account discovery and add in a new job. As you can see I have quite a few to choose from but I'll select the local Windows account discovery job. I'll then give the discovery job a name and a description and I'll choose Windows as the host type. I'll also filter on Windows 10 machines so this won't run against any servers or any other Windows desktop operating systems. Now I've only got five Windows 10 machines in my system but it is possible to filter based on the host name so I'll add in Win10 Work as the filter so it only runs against machines with that description in their name. And you might find this useful if you're trying to discover accounts on separate connected domains. And as an example, you could put in here contoso.com. Now, if you wanted to specifically exclude one or more machines, you can add the values into this field here. And you can also exclude finding accounts by name. And to show you this working, I'll exclude the name administrator. So if the discovery job finds any account called administrator, it won't add them into the system. Now, if we scroll down, you can choose the enable account for resets. If you deselect this, it will still add the record into password state, but the password will never be automatically changed. We need to now select the password list that we created earlier so the discovery job can add in any accounts it finds into it. And below this, you can either set the value of the password to be a random one based on the generator on the password list, or you can set it to be a static password. Next, you can choose to immediately reset the password on the system as soon as it finds one. If you don't select this, the password you have in password state will most likely be out of sync with the actual password on the machine until the very first expiry date has occurred, i.e. when the password is reset for the first time. Having it reset immediately is a good way to get your environment managed quicker and then you educate your IT colleagues to always refer to password state to find the most current password for a particular account. This is obviously completely up to you though and the settings are there so you can choose what you want to do. If you are familiar with our password checkout feature, you can enable this for any account that it finds. And finally on this screen, we select the privileged account we created earlier. Please note that if you don't have permissions to that privileged account, you would not see it from this drop-down list. 
Next, we set a schedule for when this discovery job should run, and I'll set mine to run at 6 p.m. at night on a daily basis. And lastly, a very important setting that we have on all discovery jobs is the simulation mode. What this does, if enabled, is it will email you the results of the discovery job, but it won't add anything into the system. It's there to give you a comfort level so you can see what the discovery job might find before doing anything to your production environment. Now if I click save, you'll see in the grid that my discovery job is set to run at 6pm daily. It's currently in simulation mode and it's enabled. If you wanted to disable a job from running, you would toggle its status from the actions menu. And we can also run discovery jobs immediately, which I'll do now so you can see one in progress. Now you'll notice the time has changed and the password state Windows service will pick this discovery job up sometime within the next minute and attempt to run it. I'll skip this part of the video to keep it a little bit shorter. OK, so I've now received an email saying the discovery job is complete. And if I open that email, you'll first notice that it was run in simulation mode. And there are all the machines and accounts that it found in this run. If I go back to my discovery job, I'll untick this simulation mode and save it again. So the next job I run will add in all of those accounts into my password list. Also, if we quickly check the password list, you'll see that it is still empty. Now I'll go back and run the job again, and we'll skip the video again to the point where I receive the email. Okay, if you happen to be on this page when a discovery job is running, you should see a little progress indicator. And next to that, you'll see the last discovery took 38 seconds, and the one that just completed took 20 seconds. If we go to the new email now, you'll see that this time it's not in simulation mode and it found all, all of the same accounts. Let's go back to the password list and we should see that it has imported all of the accounts successfully. And it says in here that all of the accounts are now queued for reset. This should process these all fairly quickly. I'll quickly change my grid display to 10 results as I'm on a smaller screen and just to give me a bit more real estate. And now that I've done that, you can see that all accounts have successfully reset. And you can tell this as they have a green icon here and the heartbeat icon next to it is also green. That just indicates that password state is in sync with the actual account out on the machine. If we open up some of the passwords, you'll see that they all have a different value and they're all random. Okay, let's go back into the discovery job again. And this time we'll remove the exclusion for the administrator account. I'll now run the job again and we'll skip to the next discovery job results. Okay, we're back again now and in the email that has just come through, you'll notice that it's only found four accounts this time, which are called administrator and that's because we just took that exclusion out of the discovery job. You'll also notice that it hasn't discovered any of the previous accounts that our second discovery job ran. Accounts like Marley, Admin1, Admin2. This is because password state won't discover an account twice. If it already exists in a password list somewhere in your system, then the discovery job won't add it in a second time. Lastly, I wanted to run this job one more time, skipping straight to the results email and you'll see that it's found no new accounts on this run. So I hope this has helped and the same logic for local Windows accounts discovery job applies to any other account discovery. You just need hosts, a privileged account, a password list and a configured discovery job for it all to work. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to contact us on support at clickstudios.com.au and thanks very much for watching.